I'm joined by Professor Thomas Harrington. He teaches Spanish cultural history at Trinity College. Thank you so much for joining us. So let's begin with this Monday deadline. Both sides have uh, seemed to be pushing the other to make a major move in the last couple of days. So is this basically the prime minister trying to force the Catalan president's hand with this five-day deadline? Uh, the general policy of this, the Spanish government has been to simply not talk about anything uh, for a very long time. This is a crisis that could have been easily avoided going back several years. Uh, however, the posture of the Spanish government has always been that, that there is nothing to talk about. And what uh, Prime Minister Rajoy did today was simply give another version of that, basically saying we have nothing to talk about and you need to do what we believe you need to do or else. Why, though, has there been some hesitation on the Catalan side to move forward with independence? There are a number of uh, interpretations of that, but one of the more popular ones and the ones that I've talked to people about is the so-called uh, Slovenian option. What they're trying to do is show that they are indeed very interested in negotiating. Indeed, they've been very interested in negotiating for a very long time. However, the press coverage uh, coming from the capital of Spain has not always reflected that. And I think this was uh, designed as a grand gesture to show we are not what they tell you we are. We are people that have from the beginning wanted to negotiate. Regardless of what happens, you have a big segment of the population who voted for and supports independence. How do you bring everyone together? It's a very good question. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that has been said is that the independentist movement is, quote unquote, dividing the society, uh, that the so-called uh, convivencia, the living together in, in Catalonia was being threatened by it. Uh, this has been greatly ex exaggerated. Now, clearly now we're in a new phase and tensions are beginning to rise. Uh, but in general, uh, getting on together and having people who have different political points of view has not been a terribly large problem in Catalonia. Yes, there is a small and very virulent minority, somewhere around 20% or perhaps even up to 30% who identify fully with Spain. You then have about 50% who identify very strongly as Catalans. And then there's a group in the middle that wants to work something out. So yes, there is division, but there are also democratic majorities at least emerging. So how do you see this all playing out, especially when this Monday deadline comes and goes? What needs to happen? It's, uh, it's a very good question, and I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen. Uh, Spain is now talking about invoking Article 155 of the Constitution, which has all, all sorts of uh, implications. It, it means the end of the current autonomous regime in de facto and could lead to even the arrests of uh, Catalan leaders, which I think, frankly, uh, from the Spanish point of view, would be a very counterproductive way to go. Um, other than that, I don't think anyone knows. I think it's important to point out also who Carlos Puigdemont is. He's a guy who's been uh, an independentist from a very early age. And I think one of the things that has made him uh, very effective is that he has deep convictions about this. And yes, he's under enormous pressure now, but I don't think he's the type of guy that is going to say, yes, uh, you beat me, I'm going home. All right, Professor Thomas Harrington, thanks for joining us.